Come on and load any day now, internet. Ooh. That's so much cool too. So a lot of people actually really like the edit in the previous video and that is great. It means my skills are getting better and oh my gosh, we got, let's just stop for a second, look at this car. R8 alert, R8 alert! Damn, that is sexy. Like I was saying, a lot of people like the edit. That is great to hear. I'm glad you guys liked it. So it is 6 p.m. the next day. It's gonna be another great video right here. I'm on the way to the gym. We're gonna train and I'm going to go meet two new potential members, which is good because money and new members is awesome. <laughs> It's the springtime, so it's like a beautiful 70-ish degrees right now at like 6.30 at night. It's good. How you doing, man? Right. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Zach. Yes. Nice to meet you, man. So tonight is bench press night. Now this is the program on Brett Gibbs. It calls for working up to a single, an RPE of eight. I'm gonna try 275 with my poverty bench press. We'll see how this goes. If I get it, we'll go up like five to 10 pounds. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Two seventy-five went up very easy. Now we're gonna try two ninety-five, which I think would be a PR. So we'll add on the dime. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hell yeah. As Drake would say, more life, more tunes, more PRs. So that was two ninety-five. Went up really well. I'm gonna try this. 305. This will be my first time ever benching 300 or above. This is all I have to lift. Just two of these. Can I do it? Find out in the next clip. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think I'll ever hit three plates on bench. That's okay though. So today I'm starting out with a smoothie and it's not very good. Why? Because I don't have any yogurt. I barely had any orange juice and it basically tastes like fruit and water together. No good. Right now in my apartment, I have no dishwasher soap. So all these dishes are dirty. In here, I have no laundry soap. So all of those clothes are dirty. You may be like, Michael, you're gonna go to the store today, right? You're gonna be proactive about it and go get your stuff. No. Why go to the store and buy more food when you can go to Chipotle and gas stations and get random snacks? Cheers. Before I do head out though, I got this package. Wow, more packages? Don't you open a package every video? Yes. Inside of this box is the key to my business. What? The key? That must be really important. What could it be? These are the keys to get into the gym. So the two new members that signed up yesterday, they were like, hey, can we sign up? And it was kind of awkward and unprofessional of me. I was like, yeah, you can, but I don't have any more key cards because I've gave them all out. I have to order more. Day late and a dollar short. They're coming back on Monday. We're good. My favorite thing in the world is getting into my car and seeing this little gas light on it. It's just basically a little picture that says, hey, Michael, it's time to go pay 40 bucks. I don't think I've checked my mail once since I've been here. There is reason to check it today because I do have a package and for some reason they sent it to the gym, which I don't like the idea of this. Like people could just walk by and take my mail in these old school mailboxes. These key cards I ordered don't work. They suck, don't like them. This package, let's hope this doesn't suck. 
So really quick before I show you guys this, I feel like as a local gym, I have to do stuff to stand out. Like I'm not gonna be able to fit in or maybe match some of the commercial gyms, but what I can do is do what I can to separate myself from the commercial gym. So officially, Obtain Strength is considered a USA PL friendly gym. Check that out. So I found out about this through Nick Bear. To get on this list, you have to basically spend $100 a year, which isn't that bad, but you get promoted and advertised to a relevant demographic. So if I get one member, that'll pay off threefold just from this. And you get this freaking sweet banner. So let's pretend like you guys are a new member getting ready to join the gym, okay? You're gonna come through the door and you're gonna look up. The first thing you're gonna see is that. And chances are you're a power lifter if you're coming to this gym and that is pretty legit. You'll see the logo and then as an afterthought, you'll see Arnold. This looks freaking sick in here though. I love it. So I'm back with some commentary. What's going on guys? I hope you are enjoying the video. now. What we're going to talk about today is what has been going on with my lifts, what is wrong with me. Now, I haven't mentioned this on the channel, but for the last six weeks, and it's actually why I got a late start on this video, I have been going to rehab. They tried to make me go to rehab, and, and, and I said no, no, no. No, actually, I said yes, 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 because I was tired of being hurt. I'm not going to the rehab for drug and alcohol. I'm going to the rehab for injury prevention and injury rehabilitation. Now... Basically what I found out the last six weeks by going to this is one, I have very weak glutes. Two, at one point, I probably tore my labrum in my right hip because I have something called hypermobile hips, which is a good and a bad thing according to the doctor. Now, it's good because you have hypermobile hips, but it's bad because it increases the chance of tearing your labrum, which is basically just a lining in the hip capsule of the ball and socket joint. Uh, but he said it probably healed, but after it healed, I learned bad movement patterns like horrible movement patterns to like compensate for that injury i learned how to squat wrong i learned how to push off my my feet wrong uh my right glute and basically both glutes are super super weak so what am i doing to try to fix it these exercises right here obviously i'm doing squats and deadlifts but i'm trying to do them in a different way uh in the sense of at the bottom of the lift glutes 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 and i'm trying to really squeeze my glutes and guys my glutes are incredibly week it's almost embarrassing uh basically he he just had me do like some holds like isometric holds for your glutes and i swear my my butt was sore for like a week i felt like one of those bikini instagram girls that just do glutes all day like i couldn't walk i couldn't sit down um <laughs> so it was just it was not good uh so even on on the deadlift right here trying to bring my hips through the bar quicker and how do you do that that is a uh, hip extension so watch how do you bring the bar up? Hip extension, my glutes are coming forward. So a great exercise to add in to really anyone's exercise program is the barbell hip thrust. Now at first I'm like, hey, this is a girl exercise. But when you think about it, basically this is working hip extension and the stronger your glutes are, the stronger your lockout on deadlift will be. You'll be able to bring your hips through quicker and it will just carry over uh, much better. And obviously I need to be doing it because my glutes are weak weaker than a kitten. And who knows, if I keep doing this exercise long enough, I might be able to sell my own Booty Builder Bikini Workout Certified $99 workout program for uh, extreme glute activation building. What's up? Yeah, sarcasm. Enjoy the rest of the video. We came to Chewy's to eat tonight, guys, and I have a, a great item that you need to try if you ever come to a Mexican restaurant. Just get a bean burrito, right? It's very simple. Beans and a tortilla, and then you ask them, can you put fajita veggies inside of it? And you get this right here. Show them this, show them this right here. Revolutionary item on the menu, never before seen. This is called the Michael Corey burrito. I know nobody cares what I got, but I got so <laughs> Go back to filming, dude. They only care what I'm eating. I know it's nobody. Sucks, I know dude. nobody cares what I got, but I got some shrimp. Your food sucks, bro. I got shrimp tacos and some other stuff. Hey, thank you very much, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks Take care. The three burritos that I got this. Nineteen dollars and forty-seven cents. <laughs> 
How? <gasps> oh, puppy! Nene! Milo! Hey. Guess what, guys? Tomorrow, my grandparents come. I'm so excited to see them because they're coming to see the gym. It's gonna be fun. But I'm probably gonna wrap this video up because I gotta go edit and get this video up for Saturday. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Please give the video... Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Please give the video a like. I appreciate it very much. And uh, Chanel, sign out. Comment pugs if you made it this far. Yeah. Okay. Peace out.